Good morning everybody, Wednesday morning. <coughs> um, it's only going to be a short video this morning, something I wanted to share with you. Yesterday was a difficult day for me, on many levels. Um, to the point where this morning I didn't really want to get out of bed and start my day today. Um, I felt like crawling back under the covers and staying there for the morning, but of course I didn't. And it's that which I want to share with you. If we allow ourselves to be affected by the negative of what's gone before, the day before, the week before, the month before, and we are, allow ourselves to be affected to the extent where we do not just physically pull the covers over ourselves but psychologically close our minds to trying out new things new experiences meeting new people then we are actually um creating a situation where our vibrational level, if you like, becomes stagnant. It's a mistake to think that we aren't all extensions of the universe, of source, of our creator. And as such, we owe it to ourselves to respect ourselves and to make the best of each moment, each day. Forgive, forgive our, our own mistakes that we make, and I made a few yesterday. Um, give them, you're human. And learn from them and move on. If days sometimes merge into each other, if days sometimes feel unbearably monotonous, do something to break that monotony. The best time to meditate is morning. I tend to meditate in the evening because I don't really have the time in the morning. But the best time is morning, simply when everything is fresh and new and you're getting yourself into that positive frame of mind to face the day. And I think that the most positive thing that any of us can do for ourselves is to meditate, is to get in touch with our inner self. The Beatles were way before their time, weren't they? With um, their visits to India and the yogi there, although unfortunately um, they lapsed. So my message today is claim the day for yourself. Claim it. Own it. Own any mistakes that you might make. Study them and then discard them as being part of the learning curve, the price we have to pay. The intention of this video is simply to say that, own your day, have a wonderful day, as I intend to do. No one else can live your day for you. No one can destroy your day or your peace of mind 
unless you allow it. I'm just going to read you something again, um, if I have it. Here, I thought I did. To be joyful and full of light is natural. There is nothing more beautiful than to be a family of souls, creating the eternal temple on earth. A true family of souls organises itself and provides the condition for light to appear in life. It is the place of wisdom, love, truth, magic and mutual support. Such a family is rare. And this is a sense speaking about themselves. But they miss one vital part out of that, I believe, which is that we are all one family, all of us. The universe is great, enormous, beyond our capacity to understand. We're a mere dot, like a fleck on my blouse. Quite inconsequential, and yet very important. The universe is within each of us. We are the universe. I'd like you all, every one of you who watched this video this morning, today, to decide that you're going to claim the day for yourself. For better or worse, claim it for yourself. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back later. God bless.